Oh, yeah. See, we plan ahead. That way we don't do anything right now. Earl, explain it to me. Vision was announced this week that James Spader oh. will be returning as the voice of Ultron. Oh, damn. That's cool. Yep. That is the first good news from Marvel that I have heard in a good long time since Hugh Jackman returning in the role of Wolverine. Mm. Um, if you haven't seen Age of Ultron, James Spader was made to play that role. Like, I oh, was, he was perfect. Oh, he was. That I'm was not so a huge great. fan of the Avengers. I was always an X-Men baby. So, like, their mm -hmm. only big villains that I really knew and liked was Ultron and Thanos. Okay. Uh, Ultron's made out of adamantium. He was as smart as Hank Pym. There was no beating his ass, and he evolved. They changed that story. It was still okay, but then they gave James Spader the voice and the personality. And God damn, was that a winning combination. So I cannot wait to see him and Paul Bettany go at it again after the ending of Age of Apocalypse, where they had their final standoff saying, we're going to see who's right about humanity one day. Yeah. Hey, so. I'm down. I liked Age of Ultron as a movie. I know a lot of people feel like that's kind of like a step down for all the Avengers movies, but I like that a lot. It was I actually good. liked that movie quite a bit, actually. I think it's a little underrated, and then Whedon got kind of kicked out after that. Yeah. So. He was kind of sick of dealing with Disney at that point, but he still delivered a good script and tried to give as good of a movie as he could while dealing with Disney. And Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll deal with Scarlett Johansson. I'll be a little more hands on. You know, we'll report it next week, but it was also reported today that Drew Barrymore has said that she's going to sit back, try to stay back, and give her interviewees personal space on her show. So she's going to sit more than five inches away from them? Damn. I don't mean to sound like the Gen X baby that's the same age that she is, but I've always wanted her to interview me. Come sit as close as you want. I just love that. <laughs> you want her to sit on your lap like Andy Dick. Whatever. Anyway, with <laughs> the also <laughs> the announcement of Vision, Vision is going to be part of a trilogy. They are now referring to WandaVision, Agatha All Along, and Vision as a trilogy. Oh, so interesting. Okay. I, I think this is going to be for all the people who are upset that one division didn't get a season two. Makes sense. I, I wonder I if could this was their it. plan all along or if this is just a pivot. Um, I think it was a plan. I, I okay. do think it was a plan because the vision thing was always a plan. Uh, it, again, it's just, you've been waiting for God knows how long since one division for it to happen, but it couldn't happen before, uh, uh, Agatha came out, but Agatha couldn't come out yet because they couldn't figure out what to do with the Kangs. Right. So, and then of course, I'm sure the rest of it was kind of eh. so. We'll see. We we was Kangs, everybody. We was Kangs, which they couldn't get <laughs> Deadpool and Wolverine out so fast because of the Kangs as well. The original Throw your K was, up, everybody. Bang. Wolf, Wolverine was supposed to have run away because he was afraid of Kang. And Kang killed the X-Men, and that's why everybody hated Wolverine. It's like, well, God, thank God they changed that, because that's just fucking stupid. <laughs> Wolverine's well, not afraid of anyone. they'll be taking care of Kang at the beginning of Secret Wars, is my guess, so. Hopefully. Uh, well, well they, if they leave that fucking dangling, that's going to make people think he's going to come back at some point. They got to fix, that's a glaring, like, thread that they've dangled for, like, the last, like, six years. From what I've read, they're they're considering just writing it off, saying he died on a spaceship on his way back to his home world. Back to his home planet, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's fine, too. Just wrap it up somehow. I almost yeah. want Doctor Doom to fucking just kill them all. You know, I, I finished playing Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 today, and I couldn't help but to think what a better Phase 4 than Phase 4 was. Like, it was basically the multiverse saga. After Phase 3... And it was still better than pretty much what we got. Okay. It was still not good because it didn't involve any of the X-Men, but it was still better than the movies or the actual Phase 4 movies and shows. Speak truth, Kevin. Thank you for watching this clip from our Dead Wire live streams every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Pacific time. Did you like this clip? If so, please make sure you hit that like button, share, and subscribe to this video. Stay tuned to all of our video content. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.